An inquiry by Victoria's corruption watchdog has criticised the office of Premier Daniel Andrews, saying its conduct falls short of public sector standards. But it has found there was no corrupt conduct by the Premier or his staff when a contract was awarded to the Health Workers Union on the eve of the 2018 state election. Operation Daintree, a report detailing an investigation into a Victorian government health worker training contract worth more than a million dollars. In October 2018, just before the state election, a $1.2 million grant was awarded to the Health Education Federation, a newly formed body linked to the Labor-aligned Health Workers Union. The money was to fund violence and aggression training for 575 health workers. It was ticked off by the Department of Health after pressure from a senior political staffer. In May 2019, IBAC received an anonymous complaint alleging processes and protocols weren't followed. The 132-page report found the Department of Health didn't put the grant out for tender and that a senior political staffer for the health minister at the time inappropriately influenced the awarding of the contract. Due to pandemic disruptions, only 83 staff received training that was inadequate. In total, $335,000 of the $1.2 million was actually paid to the Health Education Federation. The report hasn't found evidence of corrupt conduct, but it has been critical of political advisers who worked in the private offices of Premier Daniel Andrews and former Health Minister Jill Hennessy. IBAC's acting commissioner Stephen Farrow said... This conduct by senior public servants falls short of the required Victorian public sector standards. IBAC has made 17 recommendations to ensure ministers understand their duty in managing ministerial staff and that staffers' roles are more transparent and accountable. Operation Daintree is one of four IBAC investigations where Premier Daniel Andrews has been interviewed. The report has been tabled in Victoria's Parliament by the state's anti-corruption watchdog. Georgia Simpson, Sky News.